Hi guys, True Souls Emporium here again. Um, this stone is one of my favourites that I actually need to work with more and it's probably only one of my favourites purely because of the colour. As, as you can see, it, it is rather purple. It can be sort of purple or pink. Um, as you can see from the formation there, it's a bit like your um, tourmaline in that it's formed in, in layers. Okay, so that's uh, a raw mica-like form. It honestly does look like your, your mica that you get in the granite. And this one is your, your polished form of lepidolite. Um, again, another one for getting rid of electromagnetic pollution. We've discussed that many, many times. Um, this stone insists upon being used for the higher good. You cannot use it for cursing or anything like that because it simply will not let you. Um, it's very, very good for your third eye and crown chakras. I have found some people suggest it for your throat chakra. I haven't found it works for that, but that's just me. It helps aid in shamanic or spiritual journeying and accesses the Akashic record as such. Probably not a stone for beginners, probably one for a little bit more advanced um, practitioners there. Um, it helps... Anything that's come through from a previous life that is blocking you in this one, it helps you relieve that because you've got your layers there again, so you can work through work through all of that. It helps get rid of obsessive thoughts, um, despondency, insomnia, that sort of thing. It contains lithium um, and as such is considered beneficial for anybody suffering from, for example, bipolar disorder. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they call it these days, but uh, that is definitely what it used to be called um helps with releasing from addictions and complaints of all kinds including anorexia it's considered a stone of transition releases and helps you reorganize your old thinking patterns your old psychological and subconscious patterns into something that is going to be beneficial for you and for those around you in in this day and age um, emotionally it helps you keep your own space uh, from other people so it stops you perhaps being reliant or dependent upon others forming codependent relationships that sort of thing very very good at times of emotional stress and i found it very very useful um when i left the x it was a very good for emotional healing that combined with a little bit of malachite it was yeah i was i was away <laughs> um Place it on various areas of the body, helps restructure DNA, helps get rid of negative ions, relieves exhaustion, epilepsy and Alzheimer's. They also say it numbs sciatica, but I haven't found that that works yet, I must admit. All right, guys, if you work with that one, let us know what you think. Bye.